Hi, I'm Patrick Klauner. I'm a professor of artificial intelligence at Degendorf Institute of Technology. I teach a number of AI courses like computer vision, natural language processing, but I also teach a course on innovation management. Well, we deal with AI dozens of times a day. For example, look at your smartphone. You have plenty of AI applications in there, be it speech recognition, be it search, be it spam filters, whatever. So we deal with AI dozens of times a day and plenty of new applications are appearing every day. AI is the future. I mean, AI is the next step of the industrial revolution. And while previous steps of the industrial revolution have aimed at replacing repetitive tasks, AI allows us to automate uh, human or individual decision making. And we make thousands of decisions a day. And if we can automate that, I think will be a major step forward uh, to increasing our prosperity. I often talk to people, say elderly, on the street and they feel that AI doesn't affect them at all. But when I tell them that even they are dealing with AI, even if they don't have a smartphone, but they go to their doctor and their doctor uses an AI application. So AI impacts them too and helps them to have a longer and healthier and happier life. And if we show people concrete applications, how AI is changing their life right now, I think that's how we get them excited. Well, I think we need a very broad view on AI. While traditional AI teaching has mainly focused on methods and mathematics, we've noticed now that most AI projects in industry sort of fail, they don't add any value. So what I personally do is I also teach students in innovation management, so how they can make sure that uh, prototypes and proof of concepts finally lead to products that generate value. A breakthrough would be achieving the artificial general intelligence, so reaching a point in time that we call the singularity. So that's when an AI becomes as smart as humans in a large number of tasks. But I don't see that happening anytime in the foreseeable future because there are major issues that need to be solved first.